Great. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. I'm just excited we're going to get a chance to play. I think with all the uncertainty that's been around uh, just society right now in terms of uh, just the pandemic and all those things, just the chance to get out here and play and compete and do something you love is, I don't want to say a welcome distraction, but it's really a welcomed uh, occurrence. I mean, we look forward to practice every single day. We look forward to getting together as a team. Uh, I was most excited to just get back in the gym and see the guys. I think that's what you miss the most when you're away from people, just that connection. You don't realize how much you value certain things until you sort of lose them. So usually uh, you have to say goodbye to some seniors at the end of the year. Uh, and you have one young man graduate, uh, but uh, he wasn't an active player. But, so you have everybody back. And so how is that helping you? Well, you know, obviously the continuity. Anytime you can have continuity, uh, in your program, it makes it flow a lot better, and that's huge for us. Uh, we have high expectations for ourselves. Uh, we expect to do some great things this year, and it starts with the commitment to each other. And I think we made that commitment, and they made that commitment to us, and we're excited to uh, to hold each other accountable to that, to those standards we set for ourselves. Uh, and having all those guys back, so exciting. Familiar faces you see in the gym, but we do have a lot of young, new young guys that are coming in the mix that we actually, this is the first time we have guys back for multiple years, so you have leadership. You have leadership in the gym, you have upperclassmen who are leaders that can really help help sustain the program. So I know it's a long list, but who are some of those returners that you're looking to, uh, to lead the team? We have so many of those guys. I mean, when, when you look back on it, we, we just go down the list. RJ, who has been great for us since he's got here from day one. Uh, Garrett, obviously, Jesse. We have, we have one newcomer in Eddie Floor, who we're excited about getting on the floor. Uh, Adam Scott, uh, Jawan Willis, Mark Shahady. We can just keep going down the list. There are so many guys that have impacted us and will continue to impact us in so many different ways and uh, just help, allow us to grow. And then you don't want to leave out Sharon, who's basically an all-league player for us, who's a big-time leader, who's a local kid, who gets it, and is about as, as determined as it gets in terms of wanting us to be successful. So those are things you like. It's a long list, uh, indeed. Uh, so with all that, and uh, also the players you brought in, what's practice like every day? It seems like guys are competing for spots. Yeah, it's highly competitive. It's highly competitive, and that's exactly what you want it to be. You want it to be a situation where guys are competing. Some of the young guys last year who weren't necessarily in the mix are fighting themselves into the mix, like Doug Alves and, and Jordan Stowe. Those are guys whose names you probably didn't hear as much last year. But they took quarantine as sort of a, an opportunity for them to better themselves and get better. And you can see it. They came back and they're super fit. Uh, we got videos all summer of them running hills and working out on their own. So those are things we're excited about. Can you touch on some newcomers uh, that are making an impact here so far? Is it too early? Yeah, well, it's early because you have so many of those guys that are filtering in and out. When you have such a... Uh, a veteran team, I think it's a lot harder for those young guys to get into a mix. But one guy that stood out is our is our seven one player from India, Jags. He's he's just been he's been a force just from the standpoint that he's just starting to work himself back into shape. He was in quarantine for quite a few days just with the international travel, but you can see he's really coming on. He's a guy that we're really going to depend on. Uh, he's smart. He's heady. And he's, and, he, and he's really long, and he knows how to play. Those are things that we value, and he has a lot of those skill sets. Uh, we have Nate Van, who's a freshman from Las Vegas, who's, who's just really learning the ropes, but he's great, he's talented, he's working hard. So we have a lot of guys in there. So our veterans, our older guys, are really going to have to take these guys under their wings and, and uh, impart some of their knowledge on them and what it takes to be successful. It was, it, was, it was a step in the right direction. Our expectations are so high, though. Our goal is to, like everyone at this time, is to make the national tournament. Uh, anytime you can make the playoffs in our, in our league, it's, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a great step forward. But we doubled our win total from the year before. Uh, our goal now is to take that next step. We have to be better on the road. Uh, we need to be a better team. Uh, we, I thought we did a pretty good job protecting our home court but we need to take advantage of those road situations. And you want to get a home playoff game. 
We realize how important that is inside of this conference to play at home. The travel is tough. Everyone knows that the travel is tough. It's not easy. Everyone goes through it. But the best teams in the league, their style travels. And our goal is to make our style travel as well. Well, you have to rebound and you have to defend the paint. Those are things that go without saying. Uh, you have to be prepared every single night. And that starts right now, the practices. You can't stack. Uh, you have to stack a lot of good practices back to back to back because you're trying to prepare for something, especially in this situation here because you don't understand when you could possibly have to shut down practice for a short amount of time if you have to quarantine. So it's important every time you get in the gym, take advantage of it. In order to be successful in this league, the best teams, I really believe, they're having great practices. And so when they go into a gym, it's just an extension of what, when they go into a away gym, it's just an extension of what they've been doing in practices. I mean, you can never overlook uh, WVU Tech and IU East. I mean, those are the teams who, on our side, they've just been, they've just been great. I mean, and they've done it year in and year out. Uh, what they do is set the bar for the league. And you look at IU Kokomo over the last three years, they've been phenomenal. They've been phenomenal, and they bounced us the last two. So, you know, they have, a, they, have a, they have a great program as well. So those are the guys that you look at right away and say, they sort of have set the standard. I mean, on our side, you have to make sure you, you really get after both those two teams and, and be prepared. But everybody's good. I mean, we, the coaches in this league are so good. I mean, you don't have a night off. It's, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's phenomenal. It's fun. And adjustments game to game and within the game, it seems like there's, there's so much that goes on there. What oh, can you say about that? Without a doubt. I think it's one of those things where the coaches in our league, they do such a great job of scouting. They understand personnel. They understand what you're running. They are going to take things away from you. If you don't have a counter, if you don't have a way to counter what they're throwing at you, you're going to be in trouble. So it's one of those things where they sort of force you to be better. Uh, and you like that. That's what you want. This is a highly competitive league. This is one of those leagues that I'm excited with the, with the change in the NAIA going one division uh, to see how our league stacks out against the rest of all of NAIA. It's almost like... Uh, I think it's old Indiana basketball where there's just one tournament, there's just one, one playoff. So you love that. All right, last question here for you, Coach. Uh, when fans look at this team, uh, what kind of team are they going to see? What's the personality? Are they gritty? Are they tough? What, what are they, they going to see? On the floor? We say all the time the smart take from the strong. Uh, we think we have some gritty, tough guys, but we also think we have some smart guys. Uh, our grade point average was phenomenal, and I know that doesn't always translate to wins on the basketball court, but in this case it does. Those guys care about each other. They, they stand up for each other. They're competitive. They bring that Pittsburgh toughness. Every time we go into a gym, you understand that you're playing against Point Park University, and it's a team that you're going to say, wow, you know what? Those are a bunch of dudes out there that knew how to play, and we're excited about that. But they play well together, and they care about each other. Thanks, Kevin. I really appreciate it.